the ground. So the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground. Jeez. Read. And breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. So Calvin, what color is the dust of the ground? Huh? What color is the soil? Take, uh, take your mask off a little bit. Let me, I can hear you. Black. Okay, so it said God formed man from the dust of the ground. And, and, and the color of the ground is dark or uh, black or brown as you stated. Right? Read on. And man became a living soul. Give me what created in his image. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. In our image. So this is God having a counsel with the angels and his son Christ. Right. He said, let us create man after our image. Right. Okay, this is Genesis. Call it and read it. I mean, call it. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. So now, let's, that's just the first book of Genesis. This is the first chapter of the book of Genesis. Now we're going to go to the second chapter. Go back to 2 and uh, 7. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So the Lord God, he first he said, let us create him in our image. The image of God, they was created what? From the dust of the ground. Which we established earlier that the soil of the ground is brown. And then the deeper you dig into it, it gets dark. It gets black, right? So this is the image God created man. All right, this is the book of Genesis, the very first beginning. Now let's go to Revelation 1 and 14. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. What do you know? The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ, the revealing of Jesus Christ. Right. Because growing up, what was you taught how Christ looked when you grew up? What was in your mother and your grandmother's house? Huh? A white man, right? Well, let's see if you can find that in the Bible. We're going to explain to you. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must certainly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angels unto his servant John, who bear record. Bear record, meaning he recorded it. That's jump to verse 10. He recorded it, meaning he, he, he recorded it, he written it down. After he seen it, he, he told him to write it in a book. Read. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice. So when you hear something that's loud behind you, what are you going to do? You're going to turn and see. Read. As of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest. What thou what? What thou seest. What thou what? What thou seest. Or so what you see with your eyes. This is John the Revelator recording what he's seen with his own eyes. He bear record. Read. Right. Write in a book. Write it read. down in the book of Revelations. That's yeah. what that's what we're reading today. Read. That's right. And send it unto the seven churches. Verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the, the, the description of Jesus Christ, his head and his hairs was woolly. Right? Now look on that sign right there. Which one is... Look at the one that you was taught growing up, and then look at the one that the other image. Who is who? Who who fulfilled that prophecy so far? Who fulfilled Read that? Out. Read. As white as snow. So white is the color, and wool is the texture of Jesus Christ's hair. Jesus. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Jesus Christ's eyes was as a flame of fire because he drank wine moderately. That's why when you see brothers, they drink wine. They eyes the whites of their eyes turn red. All right. Read. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his what? Feet. And his feet. It, when, when you examine your feet or anybody else's feet, that's the same color they whole body, correct? Read. Like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. The same thing we ran in Daniel. So that's telling you his feet was extremely dark. Remember, in Genesis we read what? Let us make man in our image. The image was the soil being dark. Now we read it again, a description of Christ. Still right. dark. It don't change. The Bible is consistent throughout. Right. But what happens is that what? People come out, people come up and, and, and change the truth of God into lies. You understand? Right. Because for what? Over a hundred years, we was not able to read after we came over here on the, off the slave ships. You with me? All right, so when we, when they, we couldn't read, that was in the Bible. Understand that. Now we can read. 
Now we coming out here to show our people, hey, look, you are a special people. You are a set apart people. Everybody is not created equal. That's you understand right. that? But it's a lot of lies being told in the earth. Right. You understand? And we out. We come out here today to reveal, to uh, to reveal to our people the truth. That's and, right. And, uh, and, uh, and pull back those lies. You understand? Right. Now give me the image of God because that was Christ. So is is Christ and God the same people? Is they one the same or are they two different entities? Huh? Give me uh, Daniel chapter nine. What Seven and nine, seven and nine, excuse me. The, now we're finna get the father of God. We just read, excuse me, the father of Christ. We just read how Christ looked, the son, the Jesus the Christ who walked the earth was a black man. Right. Okay? And we challenge anybody out here to say any otherwise. Jesus right. Christ was a black man That's from right. the tribe of Judah. Right. He wasn't no Caucasian. He didn't come from the Caucasus of the mountains. Read. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. Who is the Ancient of Days? Who is the Ancient of Days, bro? Huh? Who is the Ancient of Days? The Most High God is the Ancient. He's before days. You understand that? He is before days was made. God is the Ancient of Days. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. And the hair. So, uh, what's your name again, bro? Calvin. Right, Calvin. So remember, you said you said God was a spirit, right? So in order for God to have a body on, what I mean, for God to have a garment on, He had what? Where all these babies at? Huh? For for you to have garment, uh, for you to put clothes on your body, what you must have? But for you to put clothes on? Huh? All these babies. What must you have to put clothes on? You must have a what? A body to put the clothes on. You with me? Read. And the hair of his head, well, no like the that. pure wool. Well, so the head of his head is like the pure wool. This is the Most High God. We just read the image of Christ. Now we reading about the Most High, His Son, the, the Father and the Son, the same image. And that's what you are. You made within the image of them. That you remember showing you what you are. Uh, you are a, a child of God. So now I ask you, is everybody a child of God? Is all nations a child of God? Huh? I can't hear you. All nations? They stuck? Let me give me De uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Look at all these babies there. Sister. Look at all these babies there. Hey, you ain't, look, you just walked up, sister. We was talking about that earlier, and the brother had a question. We give us solutions out here, but if you you look, listen, sister, you will have to humble down. It is a solution. God loves the solution. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, verse six. Hey, sister. Hey, what's your name, sister? Put all these old gangsters back out here. I bet none of these babies won't be dead. Okay. Look, listen, sister. What about if we apply God laws? I'm finished here at a final brother. Because remember, I've made a statement that we are not just equal with everybody else. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So read it again and read it slow. Call it and read it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people. So this is Moses talking to the so-called blacks. He said, you are a holy people. The so-called black man, you are holy. Means to be set apart from the other nations. Read. Right. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Have what? Chosen thee. Have what? Chosen thee. God, out of all nations he created, he chose you in your nation. Read. To be a special people unto himself. Above all people. What? What's that word? Above all people. What's that word? Above all people. I thought everybody was created equal. You see the Bible? You see how the Bible is contrary to what's pushed on the earth? God said you are above all the other nations. Yes. But do we live like that today as a, 
how do we live today, bro? We live like we're beneath the rest of the nations. Why is that? That's the question you should be asking yourself. If God is telling you that you're above all people who know all things, God know all things, why are we living like beneath everybody else? People don't have faith. That's that's okay. Why? What else though? What? Because they, they have the, people got faith in certain things. So, for example, they don't have faith in God. They don't got faith in His Word. Give me uh, Romans chapter one. Who tells the truth of God into a lie? Because, brother, look, this is what you gonna understand. It's a lot of lies being taught in the earth. So people, like you said, they don't have, our people don't have a lot of faith in the Lord. But we come out here to build our people up to give them an image. That's first right. and foremost, so they can't understand that they are gods on the earth. Right. You understand that? Our brothers is God on this earth. You understand that, bro? You a God, God calls you a God on this earth, man. That's it's right. time for us to start walking like it, though. That's Read. right. This is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. Who has, who changed the truth of God into a lie? So who changed the truth of God into a lie? Because we just read how God looked, for example. But all throughout the earth, you see a white image of God, uh, and they say that's God. You see a white image, and they say that's Christ. But nowhere, in the, not in one Bible on the earth, you can prove that image. Right. So who changed that into a lie? Teach. Huh? The so-called white man. Exactly. He's one of the corporates, but it's a, it's a few more other ones that's in cahoots with him. He one of them though. He said, who changed the truth of God into it a lie? Like the sister just came past, she'd have absolutely no idea what we're speaking about. But if she would have sat down and humbled herself and listened, she would have understood we're coming out of the Bible, it's solutions. So let's get, uh, let's get some of the truth of God. Hold that. Give me uh, Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19 and verse 17. Because she said, why are babies dying? What's going on, what, some of the things that's going on in our communities is that a lot of brothers are trying to get revenge. If they can't get the man who they want, they just shoot up the house. Or they'll just shoot up the area. And they don't give a damn if little kids walking up and down the street. They'll get it too. Bring it out. But, but what, what we're doing is we're trying to get our people to apply the laws of God. Because our salvation is near. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Read it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Hey, listen up, bro. What's your name? My name? Yeah. My name Lydell. What's that? Lydell. 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 Now, I want you to listen good to this verse. Did we reading the Holy Bible, Lydell? That's in all these lying churches that you uh, see on the corners. Yeah. They got this Bible in there, but they don't read it, and neither do they do what's in it. But we out here no. come out our, we, we have come out here to show our people solutions to the problems that we suffer, though, day to day. Yes. Out of the same Bible that, that's in these lying churches. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So we're going to read it again and we're going to read it slow. And you tell me if we as a people here in the America, in Chicago first and foremost, can we benefit from this law that God told us to do? They don't teach this law in the church, by the way, but listen good, read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. So if we applied that, how much murder would it be in Chicago? There wouldn't be no murders in Chicago. Why they call Chicago Chirac. I know that's an old uh, term made up a few years ago, but it still exists, Chirac. That's, they equating it to what? A war zone. You understand you know? that? Why? Because there's a lot of hatred going on. I hate you for whatever reason. You might got more uh, money than me. So brothers hate one another. Right. You might be selling more dope than I'm selling on my block. So right. brothers hating one another. You understand, right. D? It, hatred stems from all sorts of uh, sources. You understand? But for whatever source it stems from, the Bible is trying to, This is the correction for it. That's right. If you read it, read it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So God is telling us not to hate our brother, but we must rebuke, we must correct our brother Liddell. You hear me? We must correct our brother and not suffer sin on him. Show him, look bro, you in the midst of sin when you're doing this. God is angry at you right now. Or he is angry at us right now. If you continue to walk that way, turn around and, and apply the law. 
You understand that? Read on. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. But then, what that means? Read it again for him so you can get the concept. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. What that means? Don't hold, that's what, don't hold no grudges. No grudges against the children of your brothers, right? To your brothers, right. He said, thou shalt not what? Avenge. Avenge, meaning get revenge on your brother. Right. You understand like a lot of brothers do? This is why you have, what, babies coming up being killed. This is why you got the, the murder rate of Chicago being so high. That's because right. a lot of, of brothers trying to get that revenge. Right. You killed, you rolled down on my little bro now, now I'm going to come roll down on your set. And then clap you and your boys. But, but if we were to apply these laws of God, this would clean up the community, Liddell. That's right. You understand that this Bible was made to clean you up. Right, right. But we right. have to hearken. We have to humble ourselves. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth